It's been 50 years since civil rights demonstrators marched in Albany, Georgia, in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and Montgomery, Alabama. St. Louis is likely to extend that tradition after the grand jury announces its decision on the Ferguson case later today. Here at SLU, many of our students will continue their studies as if it's any other day. That is their right. More activist students are intent on going to demonstration sites outside of SLU, while other students on both sides of the upcoming decision will raise their voices and banners here on campus. That is their right too. This freedom Americans so deeply cherish to peaceably assemble to air their grievances and seek redress is as old as our Constitution and that freedom will be exercised throughout our region. No doubt these protests will be tense. Protests often are. But demonstration organizers have said they will actively manage them to deter troublemakers, prevent violence, and keep the peace. And that is what we intend to do here at SLU, keep the peace. The university administration and our public safety officers will be actively monitoring events throughout the region. And if by some chance, the security of our students, faculty, staff, and patients is likely to come under threat, we will act. And the community will be alerted by our emergency response system. We are counting on SLU student protesters and our St. Louis neighbors to march with respect and dignity and pride. But once these demonstrations have ended, the complacency about racial inequalities in the St. Louis region must end. The time for remedies and healing must begin. And from your personal notes and comments to me, I know that many of you are eager to join this effort. May God bless you and everyone who lives and works in our community.